Hey, what's up everybody? This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Um, this video is actually a tribute to my buddy Reagan Boyd. Uh, multiple people out there need tributes, but I'm giving this one because there are some things <clears throat> that Reagan has done and given me and built for me that uh, I haven't got to show yet because this is some work in progress stuff. So for those of you interested in uh, the rodent coil stuff and um, musical organs, you'll like this. Um, or just deep crazy electronics it's just crazy so here's what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some uh, some stuff that he built for me uh, that I'm going to be using for the uh, rodent coil Abaha Torse some of you have seen my rodent coil that looks similar to this same size that I built on uh, slinkies and paper mache uh, and there's a video out there called the levy sphere and I, I was able to get a, a neodymium sphere magnet to kind of levitate above a coil while spinning um, and I had this idea that I want to wrap coil in a spherical shape like a donut actually not a sphere but a donut like this to wrap the whole inside of this thing with with copper wire so I drew up a form of what I wanted to build and Reagan made it out of wood for me so that I could wrap the wire in there and mold it so let's get started I did try to uh, insulate the mic on this camera so I'll t I just have to talk a little quieter all right, so here's the organ, by the way, that I'm going to be showing you guys. But you'll like the electronics. That's what I really want to show you. Uh, really quickly, I got some cones here um, that Reagan built for me that I'm going to make some different size cone coils. Um, I think there's something very interesting with the cone coil. Uh, I was going to try to oppose some and, and do the opposite with some and uh, play around with that. This, this is stuff I've been working on or wanting to do a long time ago. And just now kind of wanted to show you guys this stuff because I haven't got back to it with all the uh, Stan Meyer stuff that came about. That, that all kind of came up quick on me. But here's what I really want to show you guys. This is so cool. So I drew this up in CAD. Or actually in Google SketchUp. This is a half piece. This is the, the original piece that I really want to show you guys. So I wanted to be able to wrap wire in a sphere or in a donut shape. All right. So I had Reagan make me this so that I could wrap wire on the inside of it. It's actually a mold uh, made out of wood. He wood laid this stuff down. It's really, really nice. He did an amazing job. So there you can see the con concave or convex or whatever they're called inside here. Um, this piece is also threaded in here. Basically what this is, is this is a half. So I can thread this half in here. Okay, and it fits on here real nice. And then what I can do is make just a half a mold. So if I go all the way down, like this, then I can make a half a mold. Um, and just mold one half of this. So I can make a half of a wire form. I'm actually going to literally wrap wire on the inside of here until this whole thing fills up and put epoxy in there at the same time. I'll have to coat the inside of this wood with something so it doesn't stick to it. And uh, I literally have a a, uh, a, a wire wound torus that I can wrap my other wire around. Because um, I really think there's some pretty cool stuff with that that I've been doing. For those of you following my vortex map stuff, um, so I'm going to put this form back together, but you can see how this is. Uh, Reagan, just amazing job, buddy. And I wanted to get, I wanted to show people this because I haven't really shown anybody this. Uh, this is something I was going to work on in the background a while back, and I haven't messed with it um, yet. So, basically, I'd put this on my drill, and I'd get a little, really, really thin tube, and I'd, I'd place that thin tube in here like this, and I could constantly weave that wire back and forth and back and forth until I got it all the way to the end here. Let it set, let it dry, because I'd epoxy it while I did it. Unscrew it and pop it out and I have a, a nice wooden form. So There you go. I did want to show you that. Thank you, Reagan. That's freaking amazing, buddy. So now what I want to show you is this organ. And what I want to show you is the electronics in this organ. But I'm going to show you the front side of this organ real quick first. So I got it plugged in. My daughter's been down here playing. Me and her come down here. She's only like a year and a half old, but she loves this thing. Um, so it's got the foot pedals down here. It's 
got a uh, like a pedal down here with two pedals on the side, left and right, and they both do a, a function. The one on the left makes the notes change key. The one on the right does this crazy golden harp thing. So I think I got this all off. Uh, this thing I've been actually rebuilding. When I got it, half the keys didn't work right, and I did a whole bunch of research and found out why it didn't work and fixed it. So, just for fun. Let's see, I got everything turned down. Sounds good. What about the vibes? Harp. That's probably really loud on this camcorder. Okay, so if I put like the piano. Oh, that scared me. The rhythm, turn the rhythm down. That happens. Okay, now if I push the key to the left. It does this crazy stuff. Let's try something different. I really don't know what I'm doing. Autumn rhythm start. Oh man, that is slow. There we go. I can't play the organ, by the way, guys. Okay, but what I wanted to show you guys was the back side of this. Reagan, I know you'd enjoy that. This thing's really cool. Let me back up so I can give you a full demo there. It's just, it's really cool. I got it for free, um, and I've been fixing it ever since. It's been probably two years now I've been working on it. But this is what I wanted to show you guys because, well, frankly, this is freaking crazy. Let me move this stuff. Oh, for you guys, for those of you who have not seen Connects before, this is my Connects. I have a whole bunch of them, including that, which I built a long time ago. Alright, I don't know where I'm at on time on this video, but I want to take up too much time. Alright, so here's the inside. Okay. And basically, uh, I'm going to turn this off. Alright, I'm going to pull this out. show you how this guy's... I'll show you how this works. Alright, so there's a block of wood right here that holds this back up. This whole thing pulls out. Alright. Slide it out just like this. Okay. Look at all the electronics on this thing. This is just to play an organ. This was... I believe this cost around $5,000 brand new. Um, and they re they resell right now for very cheap, which is very sad for the amount of work that goes into this thing. I took all these keys out and rebuilt every one of them. Um, and then what I want to show you is how this stuff folds down. This is pretty cool. So you can work on this. All these parts fold down. So you take these screws out. Just like that. Okay, and this whole board assembly folds down so you can work on this this whole thing this is just all electronics this whole entire thing is nothing but electronics it is freaking amazing alright so once you get the first board down you can actually go ahead and flip this second board down and work on it it is freaking nuts 
For those of you who've never seen the back side of an organ like this, this is an electronic organ. I believe it's around an 80. I'm not really sure. We'll go look at the front in case you guys want to know. Oh, I can't get it. There we go. Now I'll show you what I fixed. So basically all this stuff just folds open like this so you can work on it. So this whole thing just folds completely wide open. Now here's what I fixed. And I gotta go back and fix because I soldered a bad joint on one of these. I gotta find out which one it was. But basically there's a chip. Uh, this is the main chip and the other main chip that divides all the frequencies. It goes from like 200 kilohertz and starts dividing. And each one of these chips divides a certain frequency. And you can't get those chips. They're like, well you can, but they're like $40 and I, there's three of them burning out. So I'm actually going to pull one of these off here. Because I got to fix one of them. I don't remember which one it was. Because I accidentally had a short. But I actually etched these boards and made these from scratch um, and basically these are divider chips two divider chips that make up one divider chip that you have to pay a ridiculous amount of money for I actually reverse engineered this from scratch um, as far as how the divider chip was supposed to work and made this thing so it's really cool um, just made an IC socket here and the reason I did it like this is because there's no room to put this you can see how many wires are in here so I made it so I could just pop it in here like this. I don't know if it's going to go back in there. There we go. So there you go. And they just sit in there like that. But anyway, I know most of you probably never seen the back side of one of these. And I thought it would be pretty neat. Look at all these resistors. I mean, just packed in there. And all this wire. Look at all this wire. Just to make an organ work. Here's how the keys work, if I can get to one. See if I can get to the top one. There you go. You can see there are just springs on little catches. And all this stuff corrodes, man. All this stuff. So I went through and actually rebuilt all of these switches and, and dials and things up here. Because they were all corroded really, really bad. This thing was sitting in a barn for like 10 years. Right next to the door. So it was almost being rained on. Got cat piss on it and stuff up here. And rat piss and just crap. And it, it was pretty nasty when I got it. But anyway, you can see how they color coded. Each note has a different color. So you can try to possibly track it back to the correct keys and stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. It's just amazing all the stuff on here. Um, just to make a musical instrument. But yeah. So that's, that's the inside of an organ. Um... It all fits together like this and just slides all back in, but I'll finish it up later. Right now I'm just going to let it sit to finish this video. But, to say the least, I had a really fun time trying to figure out what was wrong with this thing. I actually took a, a headphone and uh, prodded at these things and you could hear the frequencies and you could find out which one wasn't working and stuff. That's how I actually fixed it. Um, the automatic organ on this thing which you probably not be able to see now is way up in there it doesn't the genie down here doesn't work right I have to figure that one out but anyway that's for you Reagan because I know you're a piano guy so I figured I would show you my piano organ I like an organ I'm an organ guy um, my grandma had a pump organ which my mom has now and I hope to obtain it one day so this rust I'm going on like 20 hours of no sleep this is the way every day is, so I'm probably boring you guys. But I wanted to definitely give you guys a demo. Um, crazy stuff. Alright. Peace out, guys. RustFarWGResearch.com. Tribute video to one of my buddies, Reagan Boy. Uh, there are so many of you that deserve tribute videos, and maybe one day I'll get around to doing each one of you. Peace, brothers. Later.